Hola everybody and thank you so much for stopping by Our Gray House. If you're new here, my name is Lisa and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a DIY farmhouse tray out of paint stirrer sticks. If you wanna create today's project exactly as I'm doing it, you'll need six of these long paint sticks. I just got mine for free at the hardware store. You will also need these square dowels. I'm not really sure what else to call them, but they're light dowels, but they're square. You'll need some beads. And I got these off of Amazon and I'll put a link in the description box below for you. You also need a miter box and saw. You'll need some wood glue. I just have Elmer's Carpenter Wood Glue Max. I have this little sanding box to finish off some of the edges. I just got this at the Dollar Tree. And you might need your glue gun and some glue sticks just to kind of reinforce some of the things but that's totally optional. You'll need either some paint or stain in the color of your choice. I just picked this up, I think I got it at Dollar General, but possibly Dollar Tree. I've had it a while, so I don't remember. I got this big bag of beads off of Amazon, and what I'm trying to do right now is just see how many I'm going to need to line this paint stick because I just saw an idea online that I want to try as far as how to add like a little zhuzh to it, you know, kind of jazz it up just a little bit. I've lined up 10 beads to get an idea of how long that is. And it's basically three and three fourths. So let me measure out to see if I have enough beads to do this. We would have to do two sides minimum, preferably four. <laughs> I was going to say three, but preferably four because I want both long sides and then I want the both ends. To start off this project, I'm going to have to cut each of these paint sticks down right past this little notch area. I'm going to cut right here and they do all need to be the same length because this is going to be the base of my tray. If you don't have a miter box, you need to get yourself one because these are really just awesome for doing small craft projects and not have to go out to the workshop or anything like that. My husband has saws out in the garage. I'm not going out in the garage just for this little thing. So I'm just lining it up and um, I'm gonna cut this one and then I'm gonna use that as the guide for the others. The next part of the farmhouse tray project is to cut the little wooden square dowels that I have, cut them down to size. So that's what I'm working on right now. I've measured twice so I'm cutting once because I've already messed up. Make sure I got it lined up. And I'll link this miter saw thing that I have. It's from Stanley. It doesn't have to be from Stanley, but that's the one that I'm using today. What happened? I stopped filming. I don't know why. Anyway, I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna measure, go get my other dowels, cut them, and then we'll start gluing stuff. The next step in the process is for me to start gluing those pieces that I just cut. And I think I'm going to glue each end piece first and then glue on the longer pieces. And so we're going to start out with one end and then we're going to let that completely dry. Then we're going to attach all the beads on top and let that dry. Then we'll set on the next level like that and complete out the projects. So this is gonna take me a few more days to complete, but that's okay. Who's in a rush? Not me. Again, I've got my handy dandy Elmer's wood glue, um, wood glue max, carpenter's glue. Gonna apply some glue here and then push it onto the end of the tray. I don't have any clamps or anything like that to keep it secure, so I'm just gonna hope for the best. Should I go ahead and put these ends on? I don't wanna wait forever. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the ends on, the, the long sides on, this first layer. May regret this, it is what it is. Okay, let's make sure it's all square and then I'm gonna leave it alone. Here is our farmhouse DIY, what are you gonna call it? Paint stick tray, yeah, that's it. And there was a little bit of like, it stuck a little bit to the paper. That's okay because later on before I paint, I'm gonna sand it, just do a light sanding. But today, this part is the exciting part. Why do I have all this paint here? I don't know. So this is the exciting part because now we're gonna put these little beads on. I think it's gonna be a little bit of a tedious task, but that's okay because after this, I'm gonna go cut the grass. That's why you might see me, you know, I don't know how other um, you, YouTubers do it, but 
I'm gonna talk and work. But they, I don't know, they, they do a project all in one sitting and I'm like, stuff has to dry. So I don't know, anyway. I'm just gonna put a bead of glue, you can't really see, so let me move over. I'm gonna put a bead of glue just down a little ways. I'm gonna place some of the beads on there very carefully. Then I'm gonna put another little strip of bead of glue, put more on there and so on. And that's, then I'm gonna, yeah. So that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, there we have it. The two rows are done now. And I'm gonna go cut my grass. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna glue on the sides here. And then we'll be able to add the wood on top. And it'll give it a, like a nice little beaded decorative trim to it. And we'll put the wood there. And then we'll paint it. We're in the home stretch now. I'm just gonna put a bead of glue on this end and glue these puppies down. And I'm putting down a kind of generous amount of glue because I want these to stick. But if I got too much, I'll wipe it up. Turn this around and do the other side. There we go. So now I'm gonna let this dry for several hours. This part of the project is the last step before painting. And we're going to glue the sticks just like we glued the base. I've got it right here. So this is how it's looking so far. I'm loving it. So we glued these paint sticks together and then we made a frame using this square dowel. And now I'm going to make another frame and glue that together because I'll square everything up because then I'm gonna put glue on the top and then we're gonna lay this on top here. I'll put some weights down. We'll let it dry and then we'll paint it. It's gonna look so awesome, y'all. So when it's finished, we'll have it, I'm trying to, it'll have this kind of decorative beading look. And I think that's gonna look so pretty. And I'm gonna paint it white. And yeah, I'm, like, I'm excited. This is actually gonna go in my bathroom. And I'll show you guys later how I style it, but I am just, I'm so excited about how this is looking. This is just looking so good. Looking so good. Yeah. All right, so let's get to gluing. Guys, the moment I have been waiting for, I'm gonna start painting. And I think I'm gonna kind of sand a little couple spots here just to make sure everything's smoothed out. I'm gonna definitely put several coats on because I do want it to have a nice uh, even finish to it. But yeah, I'm excited to start this. Now we're gonna do the last coat or so on this big project. It's really turning out cute. I really like the decorative little beads that I put there. And yeah, I'm, so I'm gonna finish painting it today. Okay y'all, so we are fixing this little tray. It was wobbly on there. The lid to the toilet is not level. So we're gonna be adding these little beads. I think these are the 16 millimeter ones and we're gonna E6000 them to the bottom and then it'll be fine. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button while you're there in that area and I hope to see you again don't forget if you want to follow me on Instagram or YouTube it's our gray house but just don't follow me in real life though because that's creepy bye